uh, would be really nice to have a, a more cameras around the area because the atmosphere in the pool area, what do people do, warming up, cooling down, having their uh, uh, team talks, uh, it's, it's, it's just great. The ambience is really different yes. in such a big tournament, it's yes. really nice yes. that people come in, people go in, uh, even though they're fighting in the water, they're still hugging each other above yeah. the water. Which it's is a great a community. Yes. So getting ready for this game, referees ready, and the game starts, can we please have an underwater view? And an updated uh, scoreboard, because we are not Here watching we are Flipper in the game. anymore. Yeah, we need to, to you need to update the, the uh, display, please. Uh, this is not Flipper against Malmö, it's uh, Riksu in uh, blue, I think. Blue and um, Budweiser in white. And we went straight into the white team. Yeah, Riksu is uh, in ball possession, we're in the half of uh, Budweiser and Riksu start their attack game. But uh, like we've seen last year, Triton Berun, Budweiser 2, they are really experienced players and uh, tough players. They are used to play uh, physical uh, f uh, underwater rugby and they are not easily to, to be impressed. They know uh, they have a strong opponent uh, in Riksu, but this doesn't uh, concern them. Keep calm and play underwater rugby is their uh, slogan, I guess. And you see that they nice, have multiple opportunities. They are not down alone. Uh, they're diving in pairs of twos to accelerate an attack. And this is just a, a check-up probing from Rixu into the defense of uh, Budweiser. They're looking what they're up to. And now here we go. We have a Rixu player all around uh, the basket. One player tries to... Uh, he, he succeeds in bringing the ball to the other side, to the open side. But uh, the attacker didn't manage to push the goalkeeper far, uh, far enough in a way to score. And here we have uh, another attack from Rixo. And now they're coming in with force, one after the other, tackled away to the surface. But still, Rixo is in ball possession. And they're preparing their next wave to come in. I'm here really we go. impressed that there is only one defender. And even if the blue team attacks with three people straight in there and they still manage to somehow get it out. Wow, well done by uh, Budweiser to break out in uh, this ag against this uh, offense uh, storm that Rixu just uh, initiated on them. A lot of counter-attack happening here. Very nice gameplay in the middle of the pool and Rixu is starting their attack again. We are very close to the Budweiser basket on the close side. But uh, like I said, Budweiser is, is playing a really good ga cool game and they are, uh, they are uh, not, uh, you, you cannot bring them out of their, their coolness. So uh, um, you, you cannot dissolve them easily. We have now a cluster going to the surface right above the Budweiser basket. Uh, just a goalie down. No goalie now. This is a dangerous situation. The ball drops down. And uh, if Riksu manages to go down to the bottom of the pool fast. Very nice defending from Budweiser. They interrupt uh, any attempt of Riksu to build up a coordinated um, attack pattern. A lot of forechecking happening too and just creating a block so they cannot swim forwards. And another attack from the open side from right number now. four and the first goal. Very well done. One goal against, but I do not even know how to pronounce their full team name. But wise. But ah. wise. Yeah, and uh, Riksu, like uh, Riemann and Ure Heiles uh scored. So number four was uh, Yusya Samuli. Samuli Yusya. Also here you saw that he used a lot of force. We have the question if we can uh, commentating as a mono. I will ask uh, the our tech guys. Um, do you hear us on both ears? Should we change that? Please give us feedback about the sound. Uh, we're just sitting here and uh, we hear ourselves, but you have to tell us how the sound uh, is with you at home. Call from the referee on the surface. Blue white throw. Blue free throw. Bl I'm also blue white throw. Blue white throw. Never yes. heard that one. 
Thank you, Kim, for a new word, blue, white throw. Could be the new word for a referee throw. Yes. Again, uh, Rixu in ball possession. And Rixu is getting uh, in the rhythm here in this morning, coming from the open side. Fast passing back and forth, trying to find a hole in the defense uh, to be able to work on the, uh, the goalkeeper. These are dangerous moments, like we just seen when the when the goal is. There's one-on-one -on -one situation on the, from the close side. The the Rixu player didn't manage to be down enough to push into the the basket, and the Budweiser player, uh, the goalkeeper, uh, could get a hold of the ball. And um, we have Budweiser trying to break free into the half of uh, Rixu, but it stopped in the middle of the pool. And uh, heavy four checking, right in the middle. Budweiser is really interfering with the gameplay of Rixu, and we have now uh, we are now in the middle of the Budweiser half, in the of the Rixu half, and it's a free throw holding against Rixu. It's only the left channel and the second one on the right. Okay, I will ask uh, the tech guys if they can uh, readjust that. Hopefully Vinny is reading this too. Vinny, can you check uh, the sound here? In nice. the meantime, yeah. we're defending again and they have a really nice defending outward. You saw that they have multiple people down so they could actually get out. Unfortunately, they left the ball again. Or unfortunately, I'm actually unsighted here. <laughs> <coughs> but we're um, getting a new attack from the blue team. Very nice defense here from uh, Budweiser, pushing the ball out of the hand of the Rixi player, number 66. But uh, you see Rixu is stopping them right in the moment they lose the ball. And again, Rixu attack on an almost empty basket. Two uh, Budweiser players tried to intercept. Very good job. Uh, in the last second, they managed to be there. But now we have a frenzy here around the Budweiser basket. And this is always uh, the moment when, uh, when the greatest danger is around the basket, when the ball drops down. And there's and actually a risky... Yeah, a this risky is number on 14 trying now to get in. Well defended. On the on always on the last inch, Budweiser here defended and kept uh, Rixu away from scoring. There were huge gaps in the defense, but this is the point where you just have to concentrate on the ball as a defender and try to stop the ball from being moved into the basket. There was not very much structure structure in the last second in the defense. Rixu back in ball possession around the basket no and the goalie. next wave going in. This is a dangerous moment for the Budweiser basket. But uh, again, the Czech players are keeping it cool. One-on-one -on -one situation, player attacker from Rixu coming from and the end. It's a goal. a goal from a close side. And he went over the head of the goalkeeper and pushed the ball into the basket. 2-0 for Rixu against Budweiss. I have the feeling that Budweiss just lost their structure for a bit there. Yeah. It was constantly one-on-one, 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 -on -one, one -on -one, empty goal. Which is a shame, of course. You need to focus on your own assignments but and this trust is the team. This is where you go. You put uh, um, enough pressure on the on the defense uh, to to dissolve it, and uh, then the the defense has to to concentrate on just keeping the ball away and not having the structure to rotate and be in place. So very well done by Rixu. But now Budweiser goes in the attack. Let's see if they can do the same to Rixu disturbing them so much so they cannot focus on their own assignment anymore. We have a cluster on the close side, uh, on, the t on the surface of the pool. And the ball is dropping down, uh, recovered. But Budweiser is taking it up. But the, the player from Budweiser carrying the ball is on a heavy attack by the Rixu uh, forward defense. And they're not almost, they, they just can hold on to the ball here, but they're not able to go close to the Rixu basket. The forechecking is really intense uh, here by Rixu. If you take it from a player's perspective, you always need to go through two Rixu players before you actually can reach the goal. Yeah. 
And every uh, attempt uh, by uh, Budweiser to break through into the defense line and to reach the goalkeeper and to be able to touch the basket uh, is intercepted by the forechecking of Rixu. Really well done, but Budweiser is not giving up and they're trying again. There was one player trying to come from uh, the front, but he was alone and couldn't. Uh, he had no station to play the pass the ball through, so he was all alone. Called from the referee. Half time. Yes, end of the first half, and it's a solid 2-0 uh, lead from Rixu in blue against uh, Budweiser in white. Very well played here by Rixu. Do you think that Rixu is going to win, or is Budweiser going to? step up their game maybe? well it's it's a 2-0 lead which is a, a very nice start into a second half but it's no guarantee in 10 minutes um, everything uh, can happen you can turn around the game like this easily but uh, the way Rixu played I guess uh, it will be possible for them just to hold a 2-0 and uh, the way they they attacked and um, especially the defended yeah defended I think uh, they will even be pos it will be possible to score. It will be difficult for Budweiser to turn this game around uh, if they play if the two teams play the way they played in the first half. Let's hope that they can actually reach the goal and try to make some serious attacks on the goal and see if we they can make it 2-1. Well, yeah, it's uh, it always makes a, a game much interesting, much more interesting if the both teams are on the same level. And I definitely think uh, Budweiser is up here for this game. And uh, we can, I, I wouldn't underestimate them and wouldn't uh, um, wouldn't say they're not able to score at least one goal against uh, Rixu here. But Rixu did dominate uh, this first half. The name of the white team sounds like the beer Budweiser. Yes, I totally agree. And it is. It is Budweiser. It, uh, it, it, it is Budweiser. The, the team name is the beer. Yes, right. the city. Well, the city. it's a city where the beer comes from the Czech Republic uh, and it's Budweiser and it is another thing or do you think they drink Budweiser after I don't know last time Triton Berun did me did bring me another Czech beer it wasn't Budweiser but probably Triton Berun is not drinking Budweiser I don't know but I had a Budweiser last uh, night when we came home maybe that's why you're so awake this morning yeah, well probably <laughs> where do all these amazing uh, rugby names come from well, mostly the, the cities there come from uh, uh, Rixu, like uh, Urheides Kulitjat. Uh, Urheides Kulitjat uh, is the name, it's just the name, the Finnish name for uh, Diver Sports Club. Uh, so they all have different. Uh, Rihemenin is the forename, that's the, the c probably the city or the name of the club, and then it's Sports Club in the end. So they all sound the same with another uh, uh Twist. name in front. Yeah. Yes. Well, but I'm glad we figured out that we're actually talking about Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, From it the is. city Budweiser, yeah, where exactly. the team Budweiser is playing. That's exactly it. The break is almost over, ready for start. Interesting who to see who will get to the ball first. Budweiser now has to uh, get out uh, and uh, score here. They are still able to turn this uh, game around. If, uh, they have a if uh, they manage to break into the defense, of Rixu, but the forechecking of Rixu has been quite intense <coughs> and they didn't get close to the Rixu basket. Rixu is in ball possession here and we are already uh, very close uh, at the Budweiser basket. Here Bad guys rec uh, recovered the ball in their own defense and they're trying to break but through call, call from the referee. referee. And it's a referee on the surface. Free throw against Budweiser. Already a Rixu player tried to interfere with the goalie on the Budweiser basket. But uh, here we go. Here comes the attack. Free throw executed. And again, intense for checking by Budweiser. They try to intercept the ball before the Rixu player are able to break into the defense and get. Uh, in reaching distance of the basket, there was a pass through th to the open side. But there Did was uh, no Rixu player to catch it up. Nope, but it, it was in the empty. But still you see the, the concentration and intensity. The ball is not lost and Rixu is still in the attack. Two players ready around the goal to 
make a goal as long as they get the and ball. And again on the open side, this looks to me like a good chance and like a score. Very well defended here by Batwais. Uh, incredible, the ball hasn't been in the water. Called oh, by the referee. The penalty. It's a penalty against uh, Batwise. I guess there was holding on the basket or a shoulder in the basket. So the first penalty throw um, here on the second day of the Champions Cup, uh, number 30 in Berlin, and you see uh, Rixu in blue. Uh, they are the still ruling champions of the last Champions Cup, and uh, we have uh, Batwise in white, and there's a penalty throw of uh, Rixu against Budweiss. And just to describe the ambience in the pool right now, probably both teams will be lying in the water looking at this, and yes. the audience is always very excited to see a penalty, yes. because you don't know what happened until you see the reaction from the yes, water. totally. Here we are. Uh, lying penalty straight throw on top of the basket. The uh, Rixu player is coming right from above the goalkeeper, Oh, very well done, very well here. Uh, the goalkeeper has his hand on the ball of the Rixu player and they are uh, right in front of it. Rixu player is going up to the surface and the Budweiss player uh, has to stay down, otherwise he will not be back in time. Oh, this is the, you can see the Budweiss player was out of air and he tried to get hold of the ball, but uh, this gave uh, the Rixu player enough space to turn around and uh, with a long arm put the ball into the not defended basket at that moment. Which makes it a 3-0 for Rixu. Exactly. Very well defended by the Budweiss player. And you, you can see the moment when, when the when the after the first attack when the Rixu player went up to the surface, the Budweiss player was already out of air and you see it in the movement and uh, he was not that confident in th in this moment anymore. I think that's why it's so important to practice breath holding. Absolutely, yes. And uh, breath holding under stress. Yes. How often do you do breath holding? Well, we do it on every training uh, with uh, like uh, uh, exhaling, totally exhaling, and then swimming a lot, like uh, without with empty lungs that uh, widens your lungs and gives you a lot more uh, breath in the game afterwards. And it shows you that you can come always further than you actually think. Yes, true. It's a brain thing. You can always stay down longer if you have the mental strength. And here we go again, uh, really Rixu nice in ball possession. Effect. Very well played uh, through the forechecking defense of Batwais. And the Rixu is putting again hard pressure on the Batwais basket. And it's, it's really difficult here for the Batwais to stop these attacks before they reach the basket. Call from the referee, free throw, holding without ball, free throw against Rixu. That is a way to get it out of your goalie zone to yes. get a free throw. Yep, that's a uh, 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 little uh, moment of peace for uh, Budweiser and they can start their own attack and they try to break into the corner very fast to establish uh, their game. Uh, Elena wants to see more goals. Yeah, well, uh, start playing underwater rugby and score. That's the way to do it. And thank you, uh, Mjot, for my uh, Compliment on my great hair on this bad hair Saturday. Uh, well, bad hair Saturday, it's a, uh, well, uh, you have to cut your hair short so you don't have any bad hair days anymore. That's it. That's the way to do it. Well, then that is also a tip towards you. And here we go. Rixu stole the basket uh, from Budweiss. But uh, Budweiss was in ball possession going up to the surface on the close side of their pool side. And uh, we have a cluster on the surface, call from the referee. Uh, 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 there was one of the players was stepping on the on the uh, on the step, uh, yeah, on the edge there. It's very h easy to accidentally do that when you want this little bit more exactly. power, and this item is there. Timeout. We have a timeout. Don't see uh, which it's team a free took throw it. for Rixu, and uh, White took their timeout. So Budweiser. I think it's Budweiser and the beer is Budweiser. But I'm just but gonna say Budweiser now. <laughs> you make me thirsty, Kim. You're welcome. Oh well. It's almost 9:30, so we can almost drink. Yeah, I do. I I, I finish my coffee. Mm? <laughs> Good morning.
Good morning. Just uh, Key from uh, the uh, Fetty team just uh, said hello to us. And the Fetty teams, they have the best caps ever. We can show them. There's one over there. Yeah, they really have the best ones. But they don't fit on the headset. <laughs> Looks super cool. We would like to say hello to all Singapore friends that are watching and supporting. Great team from Singapore, great effort they are here. We love you! <laughs> <laughs> if you give love, you get love back. That's the way it goes. And we started playing again. I expected them actually to steal the goal, but they did not. Yep, uh, but here Rixu comes in from uh, all sides. We have four Rixu players at the Budweiss basket. And uh, this attack is, is quite a uh, little avalanche going in, but very well defended by Budweiss. And now the second wave comes, and normally this is the one doing the kill. But uh, Budweiss is aware of it, and we have uh, now a, a cluster right in front of the basket. And Ball is loose from the open side, and again trying to attack. Next wave coming in. This is amazing attack work by Rixu. They come in wave after wave after wave, Before player after the player. the previous wave even ended, there was already but a next wave. But you see the, the Budweiss player breaking out of this attack. Uh, in ball possession, there was a amazing defense work by Budweiss this close to their basket uh, to have the overview and the focus in this moment to, s to, to, to focus on the ball and not being just dissolved by this avalanche of attack was just very well done, very great work by Budweiss. Do you think there's a lot of trust in the team knowing that everyone Yes, they know the each right other, item? yeah. You can only do this if you know the players, if you they know each other, uh, otherwise you just uh, break. And uh, Budweiss in this uh, situation did, didn't at all. You mentioned before that one team is missing a player. Was it from Rixu? Uh, it from Rixu, it's uh, Tom Holmberg. We have uh, brothers here in this team too. It's uh, Jim Holmberg and uh, Tom Holmberg. It looks and like they're not really missing. Well, they, they are missing him, I guess, but they're still a very strong team and they can adapt. But uh, I guess they're missing him. He's an uh, MMA uh, uh fighter and he had a fight uh, weeks ago and uh, um, problems with the knees afterwards. Here we saw some nice defending from Rixu. You could see that Budweiss didn't really manage to get through this wall. Yeah, Rixu does an, uh, an amazing job and this is what makes a, a good game if they are able to, to be uh, aggressive and uh, massive in their attack, but also being able to defend in a very uh, uh, effective way. Here comes uh, Rixu again. Number eight now going in very fast. Whoa, that was a nice goal from number eight. Number eight from uh, Rixu just scored over the goalkeeper. Uh, that was. Uh, this writing is so small. Can you read this, Kim? Yes, me with my young eyes can say that this was Rayo <coughs> Rantamaki. Uh, Rantamaki. Very nice goal. Uh, he just swam over the defender. It's uh, a timeout. And in the meantime, we got a question from the audience when Akran Bamberg is playing. Don't know. It's uh, not on my plan yet. I only have uh, the timings until uh, about. Uh, 11.30. Yeah. So after 11.30 we will have a new schedule. Well, we have a... Uh, number 18? Ah, sorry. It was number 18. Mato Tom, do you want to do the comments with us? And he's gone, but maybe he's hopping back. With his crutches, it's really hard to see your own team play when you're walking on crutches. Yes. It's uh, really hard to watch your game, uh, your team playing, and you're not able to participate. It was number 80. We're in the second half of uh, Rixu against uh, Budweiser. Or Budweiser. <laughs> And Rixu is going towards a goal where they have a nice opportunity here. And you can see uh, it's, it's getting easier and easier for Rixu to 
get very fast, very close to the Budweiser basket. But nevertheless, here the Budweiser player again uh, they manage to break out of this attack in ball possession and to go for the half of uh, Rixu being in the corner and trying to establish their own attack. Very uh, uh, intense playing here to be able to break uh, out of an attack like this and to establish the, your, your uh, own attack on the, the other basket. But the Rixu is up for it. They are in the middle of the pool now on the surface fighting uh, in a cluster. There are two Rixu players under it but everyone is giving up. Is this a call? Yeah, call from the referee. Both uh, referees are going up to the surface. We didn't see what happened. But there's only two and a half minutes left in this game. Uh, the score that we see on the screen is actually not correct. It's not 0-0. Zero, zero. It's 4-0, I think. Oh, I'm, I'm not awake. Uh, I think it's also 4-0. Ah, this the game's the over already. Game. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Very well done. It was a great game by Rixu. It's exciting to watch this game. And uh, they did quite well and they're, they're uh, up for it to defend uh, their title here at the Champions Cup. And uh, they will be one of those teams who we will uh, see in the finals, are able to go into the finals. Congratulations to Rixu and also congratulations to uh, Budweiser. Quite great defensive uh, working and um, it is this uh, keep calm and carry on and play on that uh, I really like in the Czech Republic uh, game. And for now we are preparing for Duisburg against Wien, uh, both female teams and uh, Vienna will play in white, while Duisburg will play in blue. Yeah, it's, an, uh, it's the first female game uh, here of the day and uh, it's a... Uh, Duisburg is the stronger team in this uh, next game coming up. Uh, Wien will have a hard time withstanding uh, the experience of the Duisburg team. And Duisburg is, is one of the top teams uh, to be in the finals here. But in the meantime, I can say that Wien has a really good attitude. You, when the girls are doing their warm-up, you see that they're smiling and they're really going for it. So I hope that the, uh, we don't underestimate Vienna. Uh, Pardon me? Again, please I was giving you an open goal here. You could just say, I agree. I agree. I, 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 I agree so much. I agree to everything this morning, I guess. Great. So you also agree to get me a new cup of coffee? Yes, I do. Great uh, game. Wise. Yes, Elena, I agree with you. It was a great game. Uh, it's not in your head, uh, Moy. There is an echo indeed. W I will try to close the door. Ah, thank you for... Uh, Thank you, Jochen, for uh, keeping us updated. It's Bamberg against the Karin at uh, 12. So we have Bamberg here. Uh, Elina is thanking the guys for a great game. It was a great entertainment to watch. Best regards from the 25 pupils from Finland and their teacher. Are they watching rugby on school? Uh, well, probably yes. I think this should be part of their education. It's a national sport. Um, we have an echo there. I tried to talk to the tech guys and we tried to fix it. Uh, does, uh, how is the sound? Please give us feedback. Does everybody have an echo um, in the now sound here? We now closed also the door. See if the echo will disappear from that. We hear uh, ourselves also twice but that is because okay we, we hear the pool area again so probably we uh, turn uh, uh, down the sound of the pool area a little bit so you don't hear us in the background we'll look after that uh, Jörg you want to take over yes you do hey Jürgen uh, hi who Jörg. are you I'm the national coach of uh, the German uh, team great with the women's team so therefore I'm quite interested uh, in uh, C, the girls' teams. Mm -hmm. So you're uh, for Duisburg here? Yeah. Yes. What is your... Uh